everybody? It is me, Pacific. Okay, so a viewer asked me to give Dating Tips 101. And at first I was cynical. I was like, I have no advice to give except leave the country and go find somebody overseas. But then I was honest with myself. Pacific has dated a lot of females right here. Let's start with the basics. You're going on a date. This is not a commitment to marriage. This should not be an interview. I will tell you something. Even on Craigslist, I met a, quite a few ladies. All of them turned out to be a bummer. There was one date that I went on where the lady was nice, but I have not met my heartthrob on Craigslist. But I have gotten dates. So why did I get the dates? Here's a couple of things that worked for me. Number one, be open. Try dating out of your box. For you guys that are always looking for that white woman, why don't you be open to a black woman or a Mexican woman or an Asian woman? Don't look at income level. Don't look at this. Don't look at all this stuff. Just be open. Now, we all have our preferences, and we need to be careful because there are some people I'm not going to date. If I see a picture of a 300-pound gal, I don't care how nice she is. I'm not going out. Because I already know in my heart, I have no interest physically in that person, so, you know, I don't care how much we click on all levels. That's a downer deal. I don't date women who smoke. I don't date women who get drunk. What I found when putting up profiles is satire and sarcasm seems to go a long way. I'm not talking being rude and mean. But it's interesting when I've written profiles saying, gosh, what is the matter with all the women out here? And being reasonable in my approach, I find that all of a sudden, some women respond to that and go, hey, I'm not like that. Then they're curious, like, hey, there's somebody who's like me too, is getting sick of all this crap on this dating site. I have netted more results for a date by using satire, sarcasm, and humor in a post rather than putting, I weigh 150 pounds, I don't drink or smoke, I'm a hard worker, have my own truck, I don't live with mom and dad. For some reason, those nice ads don't get responses. And if they do, usually from the women that you're not going to want to go after anyway. A word to the wise. Craigslist typically attracts tattooed, pierced, overweight, even jobless people who I would consider not high quality. You may think, boy, Pacific, that's not very nice. I'm just being honest. Some people don't think I'm high quality, so, you know, what can I say? You get what you pay for. Craigslist is free. You get on other dating sites, you have to be careful there, too. But somebody told me a good way to meet people in a non-threatening way where they don't feel compelled to, uh-oh, this has got to be a romantic thing. I said, check out meetups.com. Now, you got to be careful there. There's groups that meet up that believe in swinging and all this other stuff. But there's groups that like to hike, groups that like to bowl, groups that like to bicycle, groups that like to dance. I haven't tried that yet, one, because of my schedule, and most of the time when the stuff meets, I can't do it. But I have found that the easiest way to meet people is at work, but in the workplace I work, how do I say this? There are people I get along with as friends, but there are not too many bus drivers like me bus drivers that are making a living doing what I'm doing, but we probably should have been doing something a little more on the intelligent order, if you catch my drift. The industry of driving buses tends to attract, shall we say, a lot of less than desirable women. There's only one person that I know where I work that I 
I went up and told her one day, she's married, very pretty, very feminine, and I told her, I said, you are the closest definition to a lady that I have seen in this place. She's actually a practicing Seventh-day Adventist, and though I don't agree with all of that doctrine, she's very nice, very sweet, a good worker, very pretty, and I thought, my gosh, just on the front end, this does not not the kind of woman you would typically see driving a school bus. I'm sorry to make that generalization. I've been in the school bus business for over 10 years, and most of the women in the school bus business are hard, jaded, calloused, and a lot of them are not what I would call sweeties. I would never say, oh, you're sweet. In fact, a lot of them I would not even call ladies. The men, we're an assorted bunch. We have guys with college degrees. We have guys retired from AT&T. We have guys retired from, you know, different phone companies and stuff. And they're nice, down-to-earth people. They don't fraternize or hang out with a lot of the people in those break rooms. They come in, do their job. They connect with those of us that are more cerebral. And they're out the door. They're wise. Pacific. It's kind of like Nemo. I go swimming through all the oceans and I'm like, wow, there's all the sea turtles. And I know I'm not a sea turtle, but I'm fascinated by them for a while. And then it's time to swim on. I crash through every culture. I climb over every wall. And sometimes I find out, hmm, I shouldn't have climbed over that fence. When you're dating, be yourself. Do not take this girl, I don't care how hot she is, to the most exquisite restaurant, don't waste your time. I hate to say it, guys, a good acid test for what kind of a woman you're dealing with. <laughs> you're going to laugh. I had a woman tell me that I can't believe anybody would take a girl on a date to Applebee's or Olive Garden or, you know, Fazoli's or places like that. I don't like a lot of chain franchise restaurants myself, but I'll tell you what. There is no reason to go all out on the first meetup of a woman. I'm sorry. I had to find out the hard way. I took some woman that I thought was gorgeous, all this, to Red Lobster, only to be told the next day, I think you better go your own way. I'm like, wow. And in the restaurant, she played on like, man, I really like you. I think you're cool, blah, blah, blah. And the next day, poof. If the woman... Oh, here's another one. I offered to take a black woman to lunch one day at a church I was attending last year. And this is what she said to me. I said, I know of a great place. It was an all-you-can-eat deal because it had all kinds of everything. And I thought, there's a way to please somebody. Don't just chunk it down to a restaurant. All-you-can-eat buffet. Most people like it. Her comment to me, you know, I really don't want to go there. I'd rather go to this buffet over here. And already I noticed this is a tug of war. Great. I'm the one paying. I'm the one offering. And she's telling me that she doesn't want to go to that place. The other choice that she picked, to me, was basically the same. But it was further across town. So what I did... And I'm going to tell you how to graciously get out of a date, too. We were supposed to go that day. She was critical of my choice. In fact, flat out told me, you know, I really don't like it there. And I thought, you know, that is the first time I've had a woman get picky about where we're going. So I went back to my truck, picked up my phone, and sat in the truck for a minute. And I said, you know what? I went back, I said, I'm going to have to cancel. I got a call. My son uh, is having some things he wants to talk to me about, and I need to put that at priority. I graciously said that. She goes, oh, okay. And I got in my truck, and I left that parking lot, and I thought, see ya. And I never saw the woman again. I'm going to tell you, I have no problem ending a date right there face to face I am not obligated to carry through I had another girl that I picked up this was one I met online not on Craigslist it was a Filipina and man did she have a lot of problems went all the way out to Aurora which is 
way out there from where I'm at. It took me almost an hour to get to her place. I go to pick her up, and the first thing I notice is she's making noises, almost like some sort of turrets. Now, I'm not making fun of that. She gets in the truck. I have to get gas. Go to get gas. She goes, where are we going? I said, oh, I got a nice Asian place you'll like. Oh, really? That'd be cool. Where's it at? I said, well, it's on the west side. But I said, you know, I'll drive you out there and we'll go. And she starts yelling in my truck. I don't want to go that far. I don't have much time. Blah, 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 blah. And I was like, oh, my gosh. What have I gotten myself into? I went to the gas station and she's saying, so when are we going to eat? Because I'm hungry. I'm starving. Can we hurry up and eat? I'm like, this woman is downright rude. She was a few years older than me. Then she tells me she's living with a black guy, and the black guy doesn't love her anymore, and she's getting free rent and all this stuff. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, I have found a real head case. So I washed my windows, took my time, thinking, how are you going to get out of this one, Pacific? She was scaring me. I got in the truck, turned out of the gas station. I turned down the road, and started heading to her house and she goes oh so where are we going I said well since you don't want to go to the west side we're gonna go somewhere closer to your place I turned I drove her right up the front door she goes hey we're going back to my place and right when I got there I said I think that it's better that you and I don't go on this date and I said no hard feelings we'll just we'll just consider this good and you go your way and I go my way I actually thought this girl was going to hit me by the way she was talking and getting almost combative in her speech. She was shocked. Really? We're, we're not going to go out? I said, ma'am, I don't feel comfortable with you. You scare me. I was polite. I didn't yell. She opened the door, got out. She shut it. and I left immediately. Yes, I have bailed a date. I don't care. Women don't care if they hurt us men. So don't worry about saving face with people like that. You get yourself into a situation, you can extricate yourself from it. You ask me for dating tips. There is some screening you can do. There's nothing wrong with saying, you know, I'm not into partying, I'm not into this. But I say try different dates. I wouldn't worry about ages too much. Make sure she's legal, guys. Seriously. Older, younger, I would try to mix it up. You never know. You might be pleasantly surprised. Stop dating in your little fish pond. Start dating in bigger ponds. Be open to ethnicity. Be open to people with different careers and stuff. And don't limit yourself. When you go on the date, keep things light. Try to let the woman determine the way the conversation would go. Water seeks its own course. Find out what that woman's all about by letting her be herself and she'll do it. Because then inside your mind, instead of you saying to her, oh, you're not my type, in your mind you go, that ain't going to work. But you can go non-threatening and say, you know what? It was nice to meet you. Thank you. Take care. And if she's interested, she go, you know, I've got next week off. And then you go, oh, she's interested. Let her direct that course. You're only going to dinner. And I say to dinner because I like to spend time eating a meal with somebody. Going to a movie is threatening. Why? You're in a dark place and the woman's going to feel uncomfortable. Like, oh, great, I'm going into a dark place with a guy I don't even know. Don't offer to go dancing or the nightclubs or the bars because... That is the last place you want to go, guys. I think lunch, dinner is the best thing to do. It has worked. I have dated a lot of women. I can learn a lot from a dinner conversation. Body language, I dated one woman who showed up. She was tense, pensive, you know, not pensive, what's the word for it? Her body language was radiating total uncomfortableness, guarded, drawbridge in the up position. And then on her own, I didn't even ask her to, she goes, I don't like it when a guy touches me. I don't like holding hands or a guy hugging me or touching me. And I thought, thank you. In my mind, I thought, thank you for telling me that because I'm a touchy-feely person. I like to hug and cuddle. And I thought, that ain't going to work. I actually went out with her twice because she wanted to do something with me because she moved from Kansas and was bored. Stay away from women from Kansas, guys. I don't know what it is. 
every woman I've met from Kansas is really stuck up. I don't know what in the world there is to do out in wheat fields, but they think that they are the bomb. And I don't know what it is. Every woman I've met from Kansas is strange. She was in the military, and it was funny. The whole conversation, she was sitting there blasting Korea. I'm like, oh, that'll score points with me, seeing as I love Asia. She was saying that the Korean women are all users and takers and have screwed up American men, and on and on it goes. And I'm going, did you like Korea when you were there? No, I couldn't stand it. And I thought she didn't even like Asian culture anyway, so I'm going to discredit all of that. And I just politely listened to her. But the second date, she didn't say thank you when I took her to lunch. All we did was go cruising around in my truck. I told her, you want to go for a drive? Yeah. She, on her own, brought up why she didn't like Christianity. She brought up why she didn't like this. And then uh, she goes, can we go check out that store over there? And it was a store that sold basically sorcery and witchcraft stuff. And I was like, <laughs> you know what? I learned more by those two outings that this is not the kind of woman I want to be with. And, uh, but I at least met Date. She responded to my profile on Craigslist at the time. I'm not on Craigslist anymore. I have finally been healed and set free from that. I don't look, I don't post. I've said, you know what? Done with this foolishness. Unfortunately, I attracted a married woman who I was foolish enough to get involved with. And that's what happens when you get lonely. She ended up leaving her husband. She was involved with me for quite a time. And it was, it was not a good scene. Her parents didn't accept me. Her kids didn't accept me. And some of this had to do with her liberal belief systems. And her parents were millionaires and made good money. And very judgmental, very self-righteous. Um, I am going to say this mother was an alcoholic and an anorexic and looking down her nose at everybody. They both had his and hers golf carts. Her sister was a flaming liberal and saw a few of my videos and said all this horrible stuff about me. And I thought, you know what? But I kept on going. And then it hit me, you know, I don't want to track somebody who's in a shaky marriage who's looking for some something to be the primer for her to leave it or whatever and i did get involved i am totally 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 to blame there's a lot of married women out there getting on these sites looking be very very careful they're looking for a guy that'll sweep them off their feet so they have an excuse to leave their husband whatever be very careful guys don't get involved with people in relationships. Don't get involved with people that are married. Don't do it. I had to learn the hard way. And yes, Craigslist attracts a lot of flies. Where there's crap, there's flies. I'm not saying this girl was a fly. But I am saying that sometimes I'm dumb. I get lonely. I get desperate. And she was cute. And I fell for her hard. Now, in the ensuing weeks after that relationship, I kept saying, you were used, dummy. She wanted you to make her feel good, and then when she didn't need you anymore, she discarded you. Simple. She had told me she didn't agree with my beliefs. She knew from the beginning where I stood. It was interesting. Yes, women play games. We're not going to beat that dead horse. We've got problems in this culture, but if you want to date, they're out there to be found. Unfortunately, you may not attract the kind of women you want to attract, and I find that seems to be a big problem of mine. It's interesting, even here on YouTube, there's a few gals that have really warmed up to my videos, even made compliments of you're handsome, this and that. And I've sent them my number. I said, you know what? Give me a call sometime. They're in the U.S. All of a sudden, I never hear from them again. Women get scared off easy, guys. And that's another thing. Never ask a woman for her number. Say, can I give you my number? And you'll have a lot of them say, sure, sure, go ahead. They may never call you back. But never ask a woman for a number. We live in a day and age where it's like, oh, I, I don't want to give that. I'm telling you, women are spooked today, scared today. Disarm them. Go on a date. You're not looking for a marriage partner. You shouldn't be looking for a marriage partner on the first date. If you are, you're clingy. And you're going to come off as 
overwhelming and oppressive, and the woman's going to go, I'm out of here. Go on a date. Let the woman be herself. That way you can see exactly what she's all about. Don't criticize her at all. Just go, really? Oh, that's interesting. Eat dinner, have fun, because you're out of there in an hour. You're out of there in two hours, whatever. I'm going to tell you something. Guys get smart. Body language is everything. You're going to know in about 10 minutes of that meal whether she's your thing or not. You're going to know about how fast you're going to eat your food and get out of there or whether you're going to linger. I say be yourself. Talk about non-threatening things. Do not ask her how much she makes. Say, so, so what do you do? You know? Say, oh, do you have kids? Do you have pets? Find out about her. Talk about her. Dale Carnegie said it well. Focus on them. Don't sit there and sell yourself, guys. Don't make the mistake of going, well, yeah, I'm not like that. Especially if the woman says, oh, I was involved in a relationship with a guy who was abusive and other don't make the mistake of going, oh, I'm not like that at all. Just go, oh, that that's, oh, you've been through some tough stuff. Do not sell yourself. You are not a product on a shelf that needs to be bought, man. You have dignity and you have worth in class, too. Do not level, lower yourself to the level of a whore just to hope to get her to be totally in you. Give it up. Why? Because when you do that, then the woman's got you right here. And then they'll just go, Psh. Don't give her any power whatsoever. And what I mean by that is let her be herself. Let her open up. Find out on your own by just watching her talk, watching her nuances that, you know, I'm glad I did this. It's cheaper to go on a date. Then you have the power inside to get back in your car or truck and go, Man, I'm glad that's over with. But you got a dinner out of it. You've got to meet somebody. Get in the flow. Take the time to meet and get to know somebody. And there's a moth flying around down here. And if I wasn't on camera, I'd be going. Psh, psh, psh. Oh, there he goes, man. You want to? I might just get it if it gets close enough. You know what? I open the window because it's hot. In 90s, 90s, 90s out there. I got to go to work. But here's something to think about, guys. Be yourself. Have fun. Go. You're not committing to marriage. Don't get all caught up in that trip. Go for dinner. Have fun. You got some extra money to burn. Just go to dinner with somebody. And walk away and go, you know, it was fun. Sometimes, I'm going to tell you a little secret, guys. I walked into this Asian buffet one day with a black woman. And I had some Vietnamese guy. He's seen me in there before. And he goes, the lady went to the bathroom that I was on the date with. And he goes, he says, are you on a date? I said, yeah. He says, wow, she looks really interested in what you're saying. I said, hey, I don't know how this is going to go, dude. But I said, you know, I just try to meet people. But other women in there look, and other people look, and other people sitting at tables look. And yes, this is a big city. But it's kind of nice when people can see you and go, my gosh, that guy's with somebody different all the time. And then it makes people curious. Man, what has he got? He's on a date with her? Even if they're not your type. It looks good. There's something in women that I've learned that when you're with somebody, they all of a sudden go, hey, what, what has she got that I don't got? And there's something in them that makes them curious about the guy. I'm telling you, it's the weirdest dang dynamic. Go out there. Move in the flow. Show up. Don't be weird. Don't be clingy. Don't be moody and pissy. Have fun. It's just a date. Okay, I'm not an expert on this. People might go, well, that wasn't really a lot specific. I understand. I'm just telling you what worked for me. I could get a date this weekend if I really worked it. I'm getting kind of tired of it. One, because I'm not impressed with the choices out there. I've already learned, don't look at the people in the workplace. That's out. I've learned Craigslist. Good, good, good rule of thumb there is avoid it. But simple tips. Get out of your box. Don't be hung up on age. Don't be hung up on ethnicity. Don't be hung up on income and this and that. And I don't care if the woman's got dogs or whatever. I've said all I've said. Don't date a woman with pets. You can go out to dinner with her. You might find that she's really well-adjusted and nice. And if so, more power to you. But don't put yourself in this little box. You're only going to date in these parameters. A lot of women are doing that, and they're missing out on some really good guys. Don't be like that. 
go out with somebody who's really different than you. That black woman was beautiful. She was tall. She was professional. I'm not into the professional people, but the date was nice. It was pleasant. She didn't make me uncomfortable. She wrote me the next day saying, thank you. It was nice to meet you. And that was the end of that. But to be seen in public with a woman like that, other women were looking. Other women were going, whoa. It also sent a message out there. Wow, this guy's not afraid to be with somebody of a different color. Some people don't know how to handle that. Other women go, what has that guy got that he's getting all... Hey, women are funny that way. They almost become competitive. Just say, you know, I went out on a date. She sees you in public again. You know, people are funny that way. Also, women tend to become more attracted to guys that are involved with people as a group. When they see a guy out there having fun and all that, there's a little bit of jealousy there. They're like, man, that guy's having fun. Look at all these gals and guys that are with him. There is something to that. I tend to be more of a loner, but I still get dates. I'm just not going to work it as hard because I'm starting to come to the opinion that, you know what? Maybe, just maybe, I'm going to try the philosophy of letting God lead somebody to me. Whether that'll happen or not, I don't know. But if we're trying too hard, guys, women sense that and they run. Don't. Just go on a date. Have fun. This is Pacific signing off. Bye-bye.